Hello everyone. In this lecture, I will create one graphics template that I will use to create drawings in JavaFX. Let's open your NetBean first. I have my Java file with name FX graphics template. When you are in NetBean, you create one class with this same name. Then you call your Java package. Then declare your class. Uh, fx graphics template that extends application class now call is third method with throw clause that is throws exception then create your objects for group class scene class and for canvas then give your status title add your canvas and build your scene now i want to create one object for the graphics context class with the name gc so why I need this uh, graphics context object? Because graphics context uh, class contains all the methods for drawing shapes, for setting fonts, colors, and for other styling in JavaFX. So let's uh, see the graphics context class in the JavaFX API. For this, you open your browser and write JavaFX API. Then you enter this site, JavaFX API overview. When you come here, you see you have all the classes here. You go to graphics context class. Okay, go down a little bit. So here is your class, graphics context class. Under this graphics context class, you have a lot of methods. You have to use that methods to create your shapes, to create your graphics, and to style your contents. Okay, so here are some common rendering attributes. Suppose you want to set a line width, then you have to use uh, this method. To see this method, you just click on this, and you see you have the method, this is a void method. You have to use this set line width method with one parameter. Okay, so let's go back. Now, if you go down, you see you have a lot of uh, methods for the graphics. This is a fill rect command to draw the rectangle in JavaFX. Uh, this command is a rectangle with the rounding corner. This is for oval and this command for arc. And you have a stroke line method, rect a stroke rectangle method, and a lot of methods here. This method for drawing the polygon. Okay, you also have a method for adding the text in JavaFX. There are a lot of methods here. That's why you have to create one object for the graphics context class and you refer that object to use this method okay so let's uh, go back to the netbeans now you see there are a lot of er error you need to import your package for this you just press ctrl shift and i then you press ok you will have all the packages here then you call your show method to show your status and add your main method here now you are all set to build a template. So this is the graphics template you have to use here. And uh, this uh, object GC you have to use here. Let's uh, run this template. You have one status here and you have canvas. So that is blank because there is no code, nothing. But uh, your build is successful. That's good. Now you have to insert your code here. So fill oval method draws a oval. So very first one is your x value. Then this is your y value. And this is the width of the oval and this is the height of the oval. So if you run now, you will see one oval. See, this is the your oval. Okay, so if you want to see this fill oval method on the JavaFX API, you again go to the graphics context class then you come down and you have here fill oval stroke oval then you click under fill oval and you see this is the fill oval method you have four parameters your x value is the x coordinate of the upper left left bound of the oval y value y coordinate for the upper left bound of the oval w width and is height of the oval okay now i want to show you two picture to understand the coordinates in javafx so here is the screen coordinate system picture now if your canvas is here so this rectangle you suppose that is your canvas so very top left corner this is the zero zero point the first value is 
x and second value is y always for the point and this point is 0 0 for positive x value your point will move to the right from this point horizontally for positive y value your point will move down from this point vertically if you have the negative value like negative x value your point will move left side from this value and for negative y value your point will move to the top of this value now here if you set the 150 point so all these measurement are in pixel so here is 100 pixel and 50 pixel then uh, it is start from here and it will come 100 pixel here then it will go 50 pixel here so that's the point now you see the another picture now suppose you have a oval uh, you said the x value is 100 and the position of the y value is 50 then your oval will come here and this is your 0 0 so the distance from here to here is 100 and vertical distance is 50 okay so in here i have set 100 for the x value and 50 for the y value and this is the width of the oval this is the height of the oval so that's all in this lecture i'll draw different kinds of shapes in the next lecture